The Southern Poverty Law Center got it right for the most part when talking about the OK hand sign. I gotta say, I am shocked, I am impressed. I have criticized the SPLC for falsely calling the alt-right. They apologized for it, I respect that. For falsely calling Majid Nawaz, you know, his organization, Quilliam Extremist, and they apologized for that. And I think, you know, one of the things Majid said is that you need to give them a chance because they have done good work. And now, I think, while I still disagree with a lot of their assessments on various organizations, maybe Majid was right and they are doing right. They, they, look, the guy who smeared me, his articles were all taken down. I think the SPLC might actually, like, okay, this is their hate watch blog. And they're asking, is that an okay sign, a white power symbol, or just a right wing troll? And I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, they go through the history of the okay sign and they conclude it is just a troll. I am absolutely impressed because even NBC News said it was definitively a white power hand gesture, but even the SPLC is like, no, 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 chill, hold on. This is from a couple days ago, so let's, let's read through and see what they have to say. From its adoption first by white nationalists, and then by 4chan trolls intent on triggering the libs, the well-known hand signals use points to deeper concerns. Now, I want to point out that I don't think they are 100% correct. I do disagree with some of what they say, for sure. But when they talk about the fact that it is a troll, they say, The smirk that almost inevitably uh, accompanies the OK sign, the simplest hand signals, is the dead giveaway in the shroud of internet age befuddlement. Does the sign, the thumb, and the forefinger join together in a circle? The remaining three fingers splayed out behind them mean all good, or does it mean white power? The smirk gives away the proper answer. You are being trolled. Okay, I'm going to jump right to the end, because we're going to go through the middle. But in the end, there's a really important thing they say. When someone flashes the OK sign with that knowing smirk, it's not just a harmless act that can be dismissed. It may or may not mean that they are a white nationalist attempting a sly hand signal, but the sign unquestionably identifies the user as one thing, a troll. Look, it is true that there are white nationalists who use the OK sign. While I think it might be a little misleading to imply that when someone does that, they may or may not, like, by saying they may or may not be a white nationalist, like, sure, and somebody with a certain haircut may or may not be a white nationalist, it doesn't it, it mean anything necessarily. However, one thing that I think should be noted upon, and I have talked about this, there are symbols and imagery that have been taken from certain groups and are being used by white nationalists. It kind of sucks. And this is why I don't do these things. Because, and this is why I don't align specifically, because look, Sargon, for instance, he pushed the, you know, Kekistani thing. At least that's according to like, know your meme. I, I'm not super familiar with what he was doing, but the idea of Kekistan is a fake ethnicity, right? It's supposed to be a mock, like mock the identitarians on the right and the left. And they claim this fake Kekistani ethnicity and they have this, the Kek god, the frog. Kek comes from World of Warcraft. It's gaming culture. But it is true when it comes to the frog emoji and the okay sign, there are people who are associated with the alt-right white nationalists who use those symbols because what it really signifies is that you are not an SJW or, a, a, you know, among the far left or not a normie. Unfortunately, what this means is whether or not any of the, you know, like classic liberals and centrists want to admit it, when you use that, basically, I, I've talked about this before in other videos. It's, uh, I, think of, uh, I think of it like this. Imagine you're at a big rally and there's a group of guys behind you waving Confederate flags. You're standing in front of them. You completely disagree with them, but people look over and they see that flag behind you and assume you support it. The same is true for the left. When I was in Boston, they had a big Soviet flag, not just a communist flag, it was the Soviet flag. And I asked a DSA spokesman, he, he agreed to do an interview. I said, you guys are waving this big Soviet flag. And he goes like, no, we're not, we don't support that. And I said, it's right there. And he went, oh geez, that's, that's not us. And he, you know, he was like, hey man, I wanna disavow that. But there's the problem. When the people on the other side, the conservatives, the centrist, liberals, the anti-SJW, anti-Antifa, whatever you want to call it, look over, they see that flag and they see Antifa on the front and they're like, that's the group. You know, that's, it's, it's, it's kind of like, I don't want to say it's as bad as guilt by association, but it, it, cause, cause there is some guilt in standing in front of someone waving a Soviet flag while you're, you know, while people are wearing balaclavas and carrying pipes. At some point you got to be like, guys, I'm not going to stick around you if you're doing this. Technically, the same is true for people waving the Confederate flag or a Nazi flag or even a Kekistani flag. Granted, the Kekistani flag does, as a, at, its, at its core, mean something entirely different. It's intended to kind of mock, you know, Nazis, identitarians on the left and the right. But 
when you have people who use that symbol, like what, I, you know, look, I know a lot of people are going to be like, no BS, you know, we can use the frog, we can use okay sign. Like, but look, you do whatever you want, but just don't, don't get, like, you have to recognize people will see that and say, I don't know if that person is a white nationalist or not because white nationalists do use these symbols and that sucks. Like if they co-opt what you're doing, you can't do anything about it. And, you know, so let, let me, let me look a little bit at, uh, at this article and, and talk about why I think they actually did a pretty good job. Okay. Again, they, they talk about the Coast Guard and uh, they say uh, someone gets flashed during a national broadcast or during a video being shot to promote the Coast Guard or by a cluster of Proud Boys and Patriots. What it's about most of the time is a deliberate attempt to trigger liberals into overreacting to, uh, to a gesture so widely used that virtually anyone has plausible deniability built into their use of it in the first place. The point is, they do bring up that is specifically about triggering liberals. When you see the Proud Boys do it, when you see, the, like the dude, the Coast, the Coast Guard guy who did it, I really believe he did it on purpose, and it's my opinion. But I, I think he did it because of the Xena Bash stuff. He knew he was going to be on camera and I was going to freak out and he didn't do anything wrong. But I will say at this point, it's become so ubiquitous, you have to recognize it will be disruptive. So I'm not saying don't use it and don't try and reclaim it from identitarians. Or if you are identitarian, you're probably like, you know, I, I don't know what your opinion is if you are identitarian. But it doesn't mean white power. Absolutely, it does not. But you'd be a fool not to recognize that there are people you probably don't like who are standing beside you using the same imagery, and now it's kind of muddying the waters, right? It becomes it becomes complicated, and like let me let me explain like my personal ideology of why, you know, for instance, when I met Lacey Green, I said I'm not a feminist, and she was like, why not? Don't you believe in equality of you know the sexes? And I said absolutely, unequivocally. However, to some people, feminism means something different. Think about you know the idea of true equality between the sexes. A feminist, like a moderate, like social liberal uninitiated, not in the political sphere, would probably be like, yes, feminism means, you know, striving for equality between men and women. But if you ask a conservative or, you know, anti-SJW, when you say feminist, they immediately think of the worst person, even though that's not necessarily true. I have a ton of friends who are feminists who are not crazy. They're not authoritarians. And they don't view feminism through this like intersectional lens. So I recognize when you go to someone on the left and, and show the white, you know, the, the okay hand gesture, they immediately think of the worst person. It's, it's not very different. So that's why I think you got to be really careful about what symbols you align yourself with because you might draw like um, a cool, that's actually funny. This is why I'm like tattoos, man. Be careful. Let's say you, you're a fan of Naruto, okay? Maybe you're not a fan of Naruto. Naruto is a, 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 ma a manga, an anime, uh, anime, and it's also now there's like Boruto and it's similar thing like ninjas. And there are a couple symbols in the show, which anime fans probably think is really cool. For instance, the Uchiha fan, right? That's a clan called the Uchiha and their, their crest, their family symbol is a fan. Like, you know, like, it looks like a, like a paddle. Then you have Naruto Uzumaki. And I believe Uzumaki, uh, I'm not, I don't speak Japanese, but I believe it's a reference to a spiral. So let's say you get a, you get like, you wear a shirt with that spiral on it. Well, maybe there's a photo of you wearing it. 10 years later, actual white supremacists might be using that symbol. And now there's a photo of you wearing it. I understand it's not fair and it's really silly, it's dumb, but most people can't understand this. The nuance, it's getting crazy. So the point I'm trying to make is, I, I barely even got into this article, is when, when someone who doesn't know who you are, what you're talking about, sees you have the frog emoji or the okay mo emoji, they immediately think of the worst possible person. Let's say you use, did that just pop up on the screen? Let's say you use, um, like a Pepe image for your Twitter, because people do. I know people who claim to be like classic liberals, like, you know, believing in uh, libertarian values and things of, of that nature, but people see the Pepe and they immediately think of white nationalists. I'm, again, I'm not saying everyone who uses Pepe or the majority are, but as long as some do, your symbol has been co-opted and people are going to look at you that way. And, and again, back to feminism. Not all feminists are crazy not, or, or, or authoritarian, you know? A lot of them are, are, are pretty okay people who believes in pretty great things. Like my mom viewed herself as a feminist and still does, but what she, what she, what she says is feminist is very different to what mainstream like intersectional feminism is, right? So that, that's, that's the thing I was trying, the point I was trying to make to like Lacey is that when you use that word, you're immediately assumed to be like the worst of the worst. And Lacey's actually super cool and awesome. She is still a feminist. She still does believe in all this intersectional, you know, feminism. But even then, right, Lacey is a good person who is very smart and is willing to talk to people. So 
she kind of gets lumped in the other direction. Now, it's actually really funny because now, now the left lumps her in with the right, but, you know, whatever. So the, the, the article says, the problem, of course, is that there are white nationalists and neo-Nazis and Klansmen who have increasingly begun uh, using the use of the symbol both to signal their presence to the like-minded as well as to identify potentially sympathetic recruits among young trolling artists flashing it to them. The configuration means WP for white power. I, I don't believe that's true. Right? That's why I said I don't think they're 100% correct. There's things I certainly disagree with, Mom. But I really can appreciate that they start with the origin showing that Richard Spencer was using it, Milo was using it. Um, they talk about the hoax religion of Keck. They say, The alt-right had already long weaponized the trolling culture and its use of irony to create a hall of mirrors surrounding such memes. These can easily be found in other alt-right ironic constructs such as the hoax religion of Keck and its home country, Kekistan, or its adoption of the Pepe Frog as a mascot. So... They, they, they talk a lot of, uh, about a lot of stuff. And again, I don't, I, 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 maybe I didn't say this as, as clearly in the beginning. They did a better job, in my opinion, of covering this than many institutions, that like, the, that like NBC did, right? They show the Patriot Prayer is doing it, and they specifically say it's because they're trying to trigger liberals. Like, and that's literally what it is. They're trying to make everyone freak out. They talk about Zena Bash appeared to do it, and, you know, it, it created an uproar because people were claiming she was making the white power hand signal. The, it's like, so, so I guess here's the thing. There's a meme about 4chan. It's a comic where uh, it's like some, some dude claims that he's uh, actually a white supremacist. And when they tell him to, 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 to fuck off, he goes, ha, joke's on you. I was only pretending to be racist. And it's like, dude, if, if you want to do the OK sign as a sign of like solidarity among anti-SJWs, I understand that. If you want to do it to signify that you're a part of some tribe, sure. Like by all means, you can do what you want. But I think it'd be fair to say, don't be surprised then when people who don't know what that is lump you in with the worst of the worst. Because for me, all I really see are people on the right doing it and people on the left doing something totally different and both sides being at each other's, thro at each other's throats, but mostly because they're focused on the leaders of the movement and those that are most visible. So anyway, I think the SPLC has a long way to go, for sure. Uh, I think Magic Nawaz was correct that there there is room for them to do the right thing. Like I mentioned, they took down other art. So when the guy smeared me and others, they took down like, I, I think they took down all of his articles. They took down more than one at least. And so that shows to me that they're, whether or not it's because they're worried about a lawsuit or because it's the right thing to do is irrelevant in my opinion. The fact is they did it. I'm not going to make assumptions. I'm going to say thank you for doing that. And I'm going to end by saying... While I think they go a little heavy on implying that, you know, white nationalists are secretly using this to legitimately mean white power, they are correct that white nationalists do use it, and they are correct that it only identifies uh, one thing, that people are trolls. So, you know what? This is a step in the right direction, SPLC. I can appreciate this article, and though I may disagree with some of your assessments, that's totally fine and fair, so long as you recognize that these people aren't doing this to signify that they're, they're you know, making a white power hand gesture. They even mention that um, Stephen Miller was photographed appearing to pose making the W and P, but that Snopes flattened such talk by determining that was false. And I'm like, hey, okay. You know, I'm, I'm going to mention one last thing too. I think Jared Holt of Right Wing Watch gets a lot of things wrong and kind of skewed, but I got to admit, he's done some really great articles. And I know a lot of people are going to be angry, like, no, he's this liar and a smear. And sure, maybe he's, he's written some things that are, you know, defamatory and false. I'm not saying he hasn't. I'm just saying... He covered Portland, the, the rally between Patriot Prayer and Antifa, like not necessarily between, but he covered it better than the Huffington Post. He covered it better than the Daily Beast. So I think one of the challenges we have is that people are immediately going to assume the worst in each other. And that goes for the SPLC and that goes for Right Wing Watch and Jared Holt too. But I think for me, when I see the Huffington Post, you know, make these articles about Portland that are ridiculously false and then Right Wing Watch actually writes a nuanced article that's way even better, even better. And even they mention here that the Anti-Defamation League added nuance to the discussion about the OK symbol. I'm like, maybe the problem isn't entirely the SPLC, the ADL, or Right Wing Watch. Maybe it's partisans who are unaccountable within media because it was the Huffington Post and the Daily Beast and these news organizations like The Verge who put out this stuff without accountability and kind of get away with it, right? So all I can really say is, I think the important thing that we need to remember is that we need to be together. When you look at someone doing something like this, don't immediately just accuse them of being an enemy. Try and actually engage with them. Do your best to be a part of, of various communities and not recoil away from them. So anyway, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Comment. You can insult me. Give me a thumbs down. Do what you got to do. Uh, I'll be back up in a couple, in, in a few seconds, actually, with another video.